So there's lots of ways to paint, draw, lots of approaches. Um, but the kind of approaches and how what I like to teach people is what's going to get you there faster and easier and with better results. We're always going to struggle making art, especially in the beginning when we're first learning. But one of the cool things that I think is really helpful and what I teach people is just about whether you, you should be using the paint thick or thin. Now, of course, you can use the paint any way you want, and you should know how to paint really thin with like a watery, and I'm talking about acrylic paint, well, oil paint too, but you know, using paint that's thick or using paints that's thin. Let me just show you why it's so powerful to use the paint more thick in the beginning. Check this out. So if I have a picture, and I am going to paint something here. I'll make some marks on here. And, and my paint is kind of thin. It's nice in a way because it's not as scary because I'm kind of sneaking up on it. You know, it's, it's, we tend to do this, you know, we kind of use the paint like watercolor and we can, you know, we're not sure we can wipe it out and then we can try it again. You know, it's kind of like, we're not that committed, you know, and we, and, you know, we can kind of see it, right? We can kind of see what's happening. But the problem is by painting it thin, you see how when I go over an area here, if I have, if I have marks on here and I'm painting over it, you can see how it's really transparent. And those, this mark, is still there in many ways, you know, and then we're correcting it and covering stuff up. And yes, the picture is changing, but it's, you know, it's still kind of white. It's still kind of like the paper. It's got a little pink on it. The line is still there, but we, we have some pink on top of it. So the line's getting a little covered up with, the, but it's all just a, a day short and a dollar short, whatever that saying is, you know, like we just don't quite have enough. Um, what we want to do in the beginning is we want to have things change and change quickly and change boldly so we can see them. And if you paint more thickly, you're going to get changes quicker and, and, uh, and it will change the picture. So now if I come in with thick paint, I'll show you what that looks like. Notice how thick this is. And, I'm, and it's fun to play around with this. Look, as I go on top of this, look what happens all the paint, the white paper is so covered up and that black line is completely gone. And I'm really paying attention to making this thick. I'm really, you keep going back and getting more paint. Do you see how, how this shape, just how strong this is? It's also really fun to paint like this. It changes things. Look at how that line disappeared. And it doesn't matter what color you use. If you can play around with this, you're going to get something going a lot faster and a lot, it'll be a lot bolder that you then can do some, now trans, yellow is a very transparent color, but even so, adding a lot of white to it. Do you see how the picture is starting to get really powerful? In the beginning, paint thick first and you'll get some pretty quick results and it can be really helpful uh, when you're starting out. So give that a try and let me know. Okay, great.